make some noise for Pia Sounds. What would you tell her? Ati? Ako Singo? Pia, 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 you gotta answer the fans' questions. He's asking, are you single? Do I look single? No. no. <laughs> I don't look single. Pretty girls are not single. Where are we? So if you're watching this pretty girl at home, Ushambiwa, pretty girls are not single. No. Sasa wako single, luko wapi? Because I'm single with pretty girls. What are you going to tell her? What are you going to tell her? Ah. Hapa tunapenda watu wakuna confidence. Welcome to Kenya. You can tell Kenyans are loving your vibes. And singoje basi ni ongeleshe mgeni? <laughs> the confidence is on a hundred trillion. I can tell from the fans as they are ap appreciating you on hashtag Thank 10 you. over 10. Welcome to Kenya. By the way, Thank Pia, you. I was going through your, your music catalog and I gotta say, uh, in the about three years, four years you've been doing your thing? Yes. The quality of videos you're putting out, girl. Kwani, you want to just get a Grammy instantly. <laughs> you do put a lot of effort in your in Thank your you. music, in the videos, and we love it. Thank so you. tell us about your first single. The, what what you know that moment that you just decided, okay, I'm gonna start doing music. That I was like um, a teenager. I was like 14, and there is nothing I could do like music. I would fail mathematics. I was bad at literally everything. The only thing I would do well and I was confident about was music and then I started going to studio. Wow. Thank you so much for being honest about failing math. I want you to tell I want you to look into the camera over there. I know your math teacher used to give you hell, Sidio. Your math teacher used to stress you every time you'd fail. You know, I want you to look into the camera and say, Hapa ni wapi? My mother is uh, Mr. Owoku. Hapa ni wapi? Hapa ni wapi? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Pia Pounds. Yes, please. We have... Owoku, I am sick. Aye, aye. <laughs> We have such a great relationship with Thank Uganda. You. Thank you. Musically, we've given you, I mean, we've done collabs like East African Bashman Crew. I mean, we've done lots of collabs. People like Peter Miles, yes. people like Chameleon, who have found a home right here in Nairobi and Kenya. Absolutely been loving their music, Bebe Cool. But I cannot forget the girls. I feel like Thank right you. now in Uganda, the girls are the ones that are holding it at the top. I don't want to step on anybody, but when I saw the battle between Cindy and Sheba. You guys, did you see that? Did you see that show? Yeah. According to you, Nani Alishinda? Sheba. 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 I definitely want to ask you, according to you, who won? Well, I feel like that battle was for us females in Uganda. We have been uh, overlooked for a very long time. I think I can speak for the whole of East Africa. And that battle was a representation of what we are doing, actually. Like, we are really winning. Numbers don't lie. So it felt like a win for all of us females in East Africa. We love both Cindy and Shiba. I personally am a fan. I love them both. And I'm so proud that they are opening such a wide door for us Ugandan girls. So, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I love, I love when women are winning. Not to say that I don't love when men are winning, but men win all the time. Women, when women win, the whole world yeah, is winning. And it was really winning. good to see tens of thousands of people that yeah. showed up for that one. And I was like, Kenya, we need to hold our things together. Sidio, I'd love to, who would you love to see go head to head? Thank you. Watch out, watch out, watch relax. <laughs> Who would you like to see go head to head like that? Femi Wan? Femi Wan appear. Femi Wan appear. Okay, okay, okay. Who would you like to see go head to head? Saruna Pia. Saruna Pia. I'd love to see, to be honest, I'd love to see because Calligraph and Octo. I would love to see that show. I would love to see the fans show up. I would love Pozena Bahati Pia. Uh -huh. 
I would love to see that show. Yeah? Kazoze Nanani? Na Steve Osimpobo. Kazoze Nanani? Steve Osimpobo. Nani atashindeyo? Nani atashindeyo? All right, speaking of Boki Genji, they're going to be here in a bit. Now, there's one final thing I want to address with Pia before I let you go. Because there's this one thing that Kenyan women keep being told. Why can't you be like a Ugandan woman? A Ugandan woman... Anakukulisha. I mean, they say that the Ugandan woman will kneel down, she will lie prostrate as she's serving her man. And apparently Kenyan men want a Pendeyo vibe. They love it. So every time, every time you keep hearing this reference, why can't you be like a Ugandan woman? Is it true? Definitely, Ugandan women are still very cultural and we're still like very, we still have so much faith in our tradition. I hope we don't get lost in the feminist stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we respect our men so much, very much. A Ugandan wife is better than gold. You said a Ugandan wife is better than gold. Wait, don't make Kenyan men leave us right now. All right, it was really great talking to you, Pia, Pia, Pia Pounds. And by the way, what does your name mean, Pia Pounds? Okay, Pia is P-I-A, a Swahili word. You all know what it means, right? And then Pounds is my love for money. <laughs> all right, so Pia Pounds, before I step out of the stage, before I introduce my next artist, would you like to hear her perform one more time? And shout out to you at home. I know you want to see her perform again. So ladies and gentlemen, straight out of Uganda, Princess Pia Pounds. Okay, first, first, first. 